After my induction, I was taken on a tour around the whole site. I started off in a replica of a Hawk jet cockpit. It was great fun, loads of complicated dials and switches. I was a bit nervous in case I accidentally pressed the ejector seat button. This is the monoplane. It flew on fiery sands, um, albeit it just sort of kangarooed across the sand. Yeah. Robert Blackburn um, actually used the garden seat from his garden and he actually got his, his buckler to actually sit in there. And above you is the fuel tank. And here is uh, the engine. So you can imagine if, if it did crash, there would be an awful, yeah. it wouldn't be very safe. So they were quite um, sort of brave pioneers, if you like, back in 1909. Well, Chris, this is our recycling area for recycling the aluminium floor. Yeah. As you can see, um, it all gets offered into the big copper up here. It comes down, the coolant's taken out of the aluminium, uh, and then it's compressed into these little billets. These billets are then sold on to um, um, companies that are manufacturing things like car parts, washing machine parts, um, tin cans, pop cans. Okay. Um, so this is a great way that PA systems actually recycle and look uh, after the environment. Right. Seeing how BAE systems recycled the swarf from the machining part of the works, I was shown around the many other areas of the production line, from where they manufacture the wings, the electrical jigs and the centre to the tail of the plane. Eventually we came to the part where the three main sections of the plane are joined together. I could begin to see what looked like a real Hawk jet fighter. Even though it was just a shell, I was dead excited when they let me sit inside. And then we came to the final part of the production line, where the jet is fully kitted out, ready to fly. I couldn't believe it when they asked me if I'd like to sit in the finished jet. It was like a dream come true. I think my smile says it all.